All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wonderful people of us of freedom all over the world. Wherever you're joining us from today, you're highly welcome to this wonderful YouTube platform that gives you quality news and information on everything happening in Biafran territory. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and make sure you share our video to as many groups, to as many platforms as possible. Now, let us go straight up to the issue, to the trending uh, matter where they happen uh, for Biafran territory. Yes, um, um, on the issue happening in Ebony State today you know um between ishiago uh, community and one other community you know um a lot of people have actually died in this um communal um communal battle between ishiago and one other neighboring um neighboring village or community that have actually been buying themselves all because of um communal issues let me tell you you know one thing i have to say is that I think we have passed that stage in Biafran land, you know, stage that we should be having intercommunal um, battle. This is not why we are here. This is not why, you know, somebody like the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa Njoko, you know, is, you know, risking his life, sacrificing his everything, sacrificing his career, you know, just to defend his people we've passed that stage we've passed the stage of you know communal crisis it's a communal crisis as like no that isn't what we should be talking about we should be talking about freedom of our people we should be defending our people instead of buying ourselves or in the name of communal disorder or communal war how do you call it no that isn't why we are here if you're saying oh you are fighting the, 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 the terrorist government and the terrorist military and, the, and all that. It is understandable. That is, that is the major thing. But buying yourself, buying innocent people, or in the name of, um, you know, um, communal battle, it is actually a shame. I saw the video and it was really disheartening. You know, a mother crying. You know, um, uh, wives crying because of um, their loved ones. I saw the video of the people that have actually died in that, um, you know, that communal war. And them um, at least nothing less than five persons have actually died. This isn't the type of, um, this isn't the type of thing we should be doing now. This isn't the type of things we should be talking about. You know, we should be way past that. But on the issue that we're going to discuss today, honestly, it has gotten to this level of exposing and continue to expose these, um, you know, these zoo and the, the way they've actually been causing all kind of crisis in every part of the country. Let me tell you, take away Mazanam the Karno. You know, then after the abduction of Mazanam the Kanu, take away the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa. That is why I will never forgive anybody who is speaking against, you know, the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa and Joko. Because take away this man and the reality is that Biafran land will be like part of the Middle Belt being taken by terrorists. A lot of people have lost their houses. A lot of people are in the IDP camp. Let me even tell you, that IDP camp, who knows? Who knows what, what they would have done with it? Maybe they wanted to drive our people away from our land and push them into the IDP by bringing terrorists through that means. So take away somebody like the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa Njoko. And you will see that even, I think, even Middle Bed would have been better than us if, if not for these people. Because the plans of the zoo government is not plan of good for any Biafran. Go and mark this word. It's not any plan of good. They want to destroy Biafran land. They want to invade Biafran land. They want to take over. And that is why the Prime Minister Simon Ekpa is fighting tooth and nail to make sure that that doesn't happen. Enjoy this video and make sure you share it to as many groups and platforms as possible.
to bring down the platforms and pages of all the innocent you know people both biafrans and of course others or the zoological republic of animal kingdom youths who are trying as much as they can to expose the evil and the criminality going on in the zoo no matter how they try to censor us we will continue to expose the criminalities and of course the evil going on in the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria now i'm going to begin with this so that if by tomorrow morning i find out that they have flagged it i will quickly edit it and of course cut this very part so let me begin with this so that if in case something happens i will be able to you know trim it and uh, you know remove it from this very live broadcast but i have to do this because it is very very imperative that i do it now please i want to use this medium before we continue please if you haven't shared the broadcast i don't know what you're waiting for please right now i am i like what i'm seeing but i need more beer friends to to come here i need more beer friends and of course or should i say especially the one nigerianist because the starting of this very presentation is all about the impunity the crime the evil that is going on in the zoological republic so i need one nigerianist here one nigerianist those of you that say our country, our country, our beloved country, I have a question for you this evening. You must tell us, this your beloved country, I want to ask you, what do you really love about Nigeria? do you love the empty land the geographical location where you call nigeria or do you love the inhabitants is a simple question by the time you answer this question especially the politicians then the truth will begin to emerge the truth will begin to surface people will begin to see your evil the evil that you commit in this useless entity that you called zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria our beloved country today we want to know what do you really love do you love the empty land the geographical entity that gives you oil gives you gold gives you diamond in adamawa gold everywhere both in zamfara in the western part of the zoo in yoruba land and of course in biafra land as i'm speaking to you today chinese and other you know foreigners are mining gold in kalaba and of course akwaibom where they call Akwai, the formal akwaibom state as I'm speaking to you right now, as we are talking now, 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 the Chinese illegal immigrants from China are mining gold in Calaba and the Aquaibum State, old Aquaibum State. Is it this land that gives you all these resources that you mine illegally to enrich your selfish self that you love? Or you love the people the inhabitants those that inhabit the land are they the people that you love or you love the land the empty land that enriches you we want to know so please bring one nigerianist be it politicians or the fools who who call themselves nigerians and they love their country bring them here this evening we have a we have to debate I love to debate. I am number one person that loves debate. 
e ma lo ni si kaloga ka ni ma ife ni won lo gugi si you are educated if you know that you are educated enough if you know that you are educated enough you speak very good english come here this evening i want to debate you come here this evening i want to throw a big challenge to all the educated nigerians come here this evening wherever you are listening from i want to debate you it's going to be an open debate between me and you all that love nigeria just wait when i'm done analyzing all the videos i'm going to play moving forward i will throw the floor open for debate an open debate between me and all of you also the 20 come here i want to debate you with facts and figures if i if i do not defeat you with fact and figures i will close down this channel i will never ever talk about biafra in my whole life again i swear if i do not defeat you with your knowledge your wisdom and your education and i do not def defeat you concerning nigeria and the need for the total collapse complete bacchanization and dissolution of this idiotic useless entity called nigeria if i do not defeat you with fact and figures i will close down this channel and all the platforms belonging to biafra unite will shut down i will never ever talk about biafra in my whole life again just cello until i open the, the, chat, the platform now let us watch this very video even though they flag it later i will delete the video well in sub-saharan africa if my co-anchor george thomas is off well in sub-saharan africa 16 million christians have fled their homes due to violence and conflict in sub-sahara africa over 16 million hey did i did i even get that number let me maybe i didn't hear it properly because this number is worthy of making or uh, making at least the four nations four countries because if i count more than eight countries in europe are below four million uh, population yes yes hundred percent more than eight countries in europe more than eight independent countries in Europe are below four million, uh, you know, uh, population each. Please, am I lying? Those of you that live in Europe, those of you that live in Europe, let me know in the comment section. I am saying, even though I don't mention the names of all of them, at least eight or more than eight countries in Europe are below four million population each. Am I lying? If you live in Europe or you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section. And this woman is telling us here that over 16 million. No, I didn't hear it. I, I, I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong on this. Please. I'm going to repeat it. But please, madam, please let me let me be the one who is wrong. Let it be like 16,000. I don't want to hear that million, please. Please, please, I'm begging. I'm begging because I'm I'm feeling very, my heart is very heavy. I don't want to be, be, be correct on this. I want to be wrong. News, I'm Wendy Griffith. My co-anchor, George Thomas, is off. Well, in sub-Saharan Africa, 16 million Christians have fled their homes due to violence and conflict. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> Imagine I was right. Imagine I had her. I had her clearly. She said, 16 million people have fled their home due to violence and conflict. Over 16 million. And this woman is not just in the studio of uh, 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 this uh, TV station giving us news. They went there on ground. You know, when that name is, when that number is mentioned, some of the idiots who are listening to me right now may be saying, uh, well, what do you know? You are in Europe, you are in Britain, you are in America. How can you be in America telling us the number of, uh, you know, displaced people? 
they went there on ground as you can see as you are watching now i will play you the whole you the cocoa you are going to see the cocoa they were there on ground she was not there in the studio in america telling us what is happening here in the zoo they went there they went to those camps and saw with their own eyes captured it with camera let's continue Pastor Barnabas and thousands of others live in one, in one of many displaced people camps in Nigeria after fleeing Muslim extremists. This report by... Did you hear the cause? <laughs> Did you hear the cause? The cause of this more than 16 million people displaced from their ancestral homes. Did you hear the cause? Did you, did you hear what caused it? Let me take that again. In one of many displaced people camps in Nigeria after fleeing Muslim extremists. This report. Did you hear that? Now let's continue. I will bring you, after this video, I'm going to play you other videos. I will, I'm going to play you the video of the Prime Minister of Biafra, Mazi Samanekma. And then we are going to connect the dots. With this very video we are watching right now we will connect the door there is one there, there, there is this video the pm did today oh my goodness me hey try my. no one that they say birds of the same feathers uh, the same birds of the same best the best of the same feathers or the same color flock flock together can you correct me in the comment section because is it birds of the same feather Beds of the same feathers or the same color. Beds of the same feathers flock together. I watch a video made by PM today, Mazi Samanekpa, the Prime Minister. I watched that video about Oyina Awum. I was watching that response from PM this evening. You know why Because exactly if an MM life. Exact or just you didn't know oh Monday hammer. Where did they see inches? Pian eighty to six inches are wham once or my bani. Once copia. Once he hit the hammer on top of the nail. Direct. Now let's continue because we are going to connect the dots. With our video and this one will connect the dots. By Open Doors UK comes to us from our friends at the Global News Alliance. Now, this is one of the ID, IDP camps. For though I want I want one Nigerianist to be here to be here this evening. You when I will be na no more obuna no more you when I will be I want to see any idiot that loves Nigeria to be here. If you don't like, as we are exiting the zoo, you don't like it, whether you are Igbo man or you are wherever you come from, I don't care. If you don't like the exit of Biafra from Nigeria, you don't like or you don't want the breakup of Nigeria, you don't want anything that will, you know, cause or that will tamper with the so-called territorial integrity of the zoo. I want you here this evening. We have to, we have, we have something to, we have something in common this evening. Me and you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. God bless you all. Amen. Uh, as we can see, this is church. I'm a pastor, and this world, I, the people I pastor, I pastor them. Please pay very good attention, my people. As we are gathered here, how many of us fled due to the attacks? Raise up your hands. Did you hear that? The man is speaking in the local dialect. Asking his people, he said he's a he's a pastor of these people. He's the one pastoring them. And when you hear the uh, I'm a pastor, I'm the one pastoring them. You think he's coming from one mansion outside to come here and pastor them? No, he's one of them. <laughs> voila, 
Wahala, they say Wahala be like be like a guinea. He is there, he's one of them. He asked them, How many of you who are here have fled because of attacks by the Fulani terrorists? All not almost all of no, all of them raised up their hands because of Utua the Bodu called the Borgona. Oh, well, if I na Borgona, I'm gonna move in a village here. I'm going from Neku. Oh, when if I na Bodu, I'm gonna eat cholonta na village. Jogi pelumpe, you will understand. Utua the Bodu called the Borgona. Let's continue. Pastor Barnabas's church in Nigeria is a makeshift structure inside a camp for in are you seeing what i'm seeing this is bbc uh, cbn news is an international one of the biggest international media platforms in the world this is cbn news they we are there live in benue state live and direct this is one of the this is one of the internally displaced persons camps in the northern zoological republic pay attention if i what you are seeing is just a tip of an iceberg if i you you just you are just seeing one part you have not seen all parts in one camp alone internally displaced people or idps the people he pastors are christians who are violently forced from their homes by militant fulani herdsmen Here is my house where I live together with my wife, my seven children. This man is living here with his wife and his seven children. And he is still a young man, a young, healthy man, a healthy young man who should be in his home, in his ancestral home, you know, even if he's a farmer farming very well, feeding his children and training them in the school. But this man has lost everything. He's a young man, highest 45 or 50 years old. He has lost everything. He has not even up to, this man is not up to 50 years, never. He's suffering and he's looking young like this. What if he, he is, you know, doing well? He is here with his seven children. And this is the story of just one particular man. When we have millions in this IDP camp. Uh, three of them stayed here with me and my wife. Then the rest of the children joined, joined up my neighbor to stay with this night. When day breaks, they come back and stay with me. This tent here is uh, from here to this place. It's one and a half meters. From here to here is one and a half meters. From here to here is one and a half meters. It's <laughs> yeah. You see the man, right? You see the man. Oh my goodness me. Allo Melo. One and a half meters. One and a half meters. One and a half meters and one and a half meters. The, the, the whole four corners are all one and a half meters, one and a half meters each. And that is where a full grown up man like this, a full grown up man like this, let's say 50 years of age, is living with seven children and a wife. I want those women, because I know I have a lot of women watching me now, a lot of women i want you especially biafran women in fact especially Igbo woman let me because i'm a motun device you have a motu muanya oh muasa ibo oh muasa oh if i do no muasa i'm a motu i know how you people you know love life i know how you people love to be pampered i know how you people love to be you know to live good life I know how you people love to live a good life, very good life. I'm talking about Igbo women. That is why I Igbo Omuani Igbo. 
oriako obageriako odeziakudia i know how Igbo women dress i know how pompous they feel because we the men pamper them so much and they deserve it i want to ask you Biafran women listening to me now, especially Igbo women, because I don't know if the way we do is general in all Biafran states and tribes. Imagine living in this place as a woman with a man you call your husband and your seven children. I told me, I ordered can TM, but I'm, I'm controlling myself. I'm controlling myself. Imagine living there with your husband, a man that you called your husband, and you are watching your children, those seven children. As the man is very young, so that means the wife is also young. And then the children will also be very, 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 very young. Many of those children, out of those seven children, many of them, if not all of them, are born in this same idp camp how does he feel as in oh my goodness me let's continue smaller than the uh, a double uh mattress the suffering of these displaced christians is so tough Chai. that many of them have begun to lose their faith in god when I see my people living in this kind of condition we, we are, I feel very bad. It makes many of them begin to lose their faith from God. They begin to turn away from God. But with God, we believe that God will still restore them back. It's not a, you see, this is the problem. This is the problem. It's not about God this has no i don't want to say no business or has nothing to do with god but it's not about god in car now this one is i wish although they don't have electricity they don't have smartphones how would they hear me how would they hear what i'm saying i'm just near i'm just shouting on their behalf and crying on their behalf so i'm not i'm not sure i'm not very sure that he will hear me but others will hear me it's not about God. God cannot bring you out of IDP camp and place you back to your community. It is not possible. It is not the job of God. You are no more Christian than me. <laughs> you are not more Christian than me. You are not more born again than me. And I'm not sure, even you as a pastor, I'm not certain you pray more than me. I'm not certain about that. But I'm standing here today to tell you that this is not about God. God created you, placed you in your ancestral land. He is not the one that brought Fulani to displace you. No, your government brought Fulani to displace you in order to Islamize you. Your own government did it. They used your they use your military and your police that you 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 applaud every moment. You applaud them, you rely on them, you have faith in them. They use them to shield to shield these terrorists, to cover them, to give them protection, and they come into your own land and displace you by many of your siblings. By many of your of your kinsmen and those of you that survived it alive are here today. It is not about God. God is not the one that brought them. It is your government that brought them. It is your government that brought them. When I was watching the video, I had this place. I say, if you go me, this is our this is our problem. This is the problem of Africa. White people that brought Christianity and other religions to us cannot in any way, cannot in any way, no way whatsoever, hope in God to rescue them from terrorism. 
it is not possible. You cannot be more Christian than Israel. Whether you call them, um, uh, uh, what do you call, what, what do they call them? Uh, 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 um, uh, Judaism or whatever, you can't be more Christian than Israel. But what are they doing today? They are fighting. <laughs> they are fighting with guns and bullets. They are fighting with Obuniwe against their enemies. So you can't be more, you can't know God more than Israel. You can't. <laughs> you can't be more Christian than the Europeans that brought it to you. You can't. So it's not about God. God is there. God cannot kill himself for his children that he created. He has given you all the power and the energy, experience, brain to rescue yourself when you are in such mess. It is not a spiritual matter. If it is a spiritual matter, you can begin to pray to God. You can begin to call on God to rescue you. This is a physical matter. It has nothing to do with spiritual. I need to dwell on this a little bit. It has absolutely nothing to do with spiritual. That is the reason why in Biafra land, we can't afford to have this kind of situation in our land. Never. Not when men are fully armed to the teeth. We can't afford to have this kind of situation in our land. It's not about Even in Israel, it was like that. In order to back them up with prayers. You can't be in IDP camp and you are praying for God to rescue you, to bring you out of IDP camp, to take you back to your home. When you have a government, you have military, you have police, you have air force, and they are aware that where you left, where you ran away from to IDP camp, is occupied by foreigners, by armed bandits and terrorists. The military is aware. The military knows that you are there in IDP camp. The military knows. And the military knows where you ran away from. They know your village. And they know that terrorists are there, armed. They have Air Force. They have Navy. They have Super Tucano. They have uh, all the armor tanks and the, all the whole thing. What is if not if it's not your government that put you there that make that made you lose all you had all you've worked for in your entire life? If it's not your government that made you lose all of it, that made you lose all of it, and here you you are in IDP camp. What is stopping that same government to go into your villages and chase away those terrorists and return you back home? It is not God. It is your terrorist government and your terrorist military that put you there. And they are not ready. Any time, any, no time, no time, no any time at all, at all in this world that they are going to return you back to your ancestral home because the plan of the Fulani is to chase you away and bring in their, 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 their Fulani uh, 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 siblings from Sahel and place them there and forever they have become the, ori the original owners of your land. It happened in the Kornot. It happened in Sokoto. It happened in Katsena. All these Fulanis from Katsena, Buhari and Co. They are not from Katsena. How did they manage to become the indigenous of Kat Katsena? Did, do they have any record of buying land? You know, people have never thought of this. People have not thought of this. Is there any record that Fulani bought land in Sokoto to become indigenous of Sokoto? Or is there any record at all that they bought land in Katsena, built house, a married, married there, gave birth to children, and their children are now the citizens of Nigeria and indigenous of Sokoto or Katsena state? Or any other place, including Jigawa, Kebi, Bini Kebi, all of them, Zamfara, uh, you know, Brono. Is there any record that sometime in the past that Fulanese came from Sahel and bought lands in northern Nigeria, 
That's why today they can no longer go back because these are their lands. They inhabit it, they bought it, and now they are the they have become the citizens of Nigeria. Is there any record like that? There is no record. No single record. So how did they manage to become the indigents of those places? How did they manage to become indigents of those places? How? Can somebody explain to me? I, I, I don't know. Have you thought of this? How did they manage to become indigents of those places, including in Yoruba land, in, 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 in Kwara State? How did Fulanis manage to become indigents of those lands? How did they manage? It is true jihadists. What is happening in Benue State? What is happening in Kogi? What is happening in Kaduna? What is happening in, uh, 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 where is um, Musa coming from? Uh, 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 play to State. What is happening in these Middle Best States is exactly what happened in the core north in the olden days, 18th centuries, when Usman Damfodio invaded Northern Nigeria. This has been my prayer for them in the name of Jesus.